This battle made these two unknown b-boys famous. It kind of had this David and Goliath vibe to it because Daniel is this huge Nordic dude who was just surprisingly agile for his size. And Pac Pac from France, he's a smaller gentleman, but his strength and musicality surprised everyone. All right, Daniel's going first. At this time, he was unknown, but now he's known for these big acrobatic moves. The one criticism people have for him right now is that he reminds people too much of a gymnast and not enough of a dancer. I think this battle is a perfect explanation for folks who wonder what the difference between gymnastics and b-boying might look like in the Olympics. Oh, he's so fast for his size. It's so impressive. But the thing is, it looks like he's performing a routine and it doesn't really matter what music is playing. Versus Pac Pac, again, this is all spontaneous. They don't know what the music is. Pac Pac, his moves are hard, but he changes them to the music. Oh my goodness. I think that's called a death drop. It comes from a different style of dance. I'm forgetting which one, it might be low, is that? That could be wrong, but it's a different style of dance that he brought into this one. Oh! See, that is not as hard as what Daniel did, but it felt so much cooler because it was right to the music. Oh my God! Both. Oh, oh God! He caught himself. Holy! Oh my! That is crazy strength. Oh my gosh. Daniel back at it with the crazy acrobatics. It's super impressive. And it's so well polished, but sometimes when it looks too well polished, then it comes across as just not as spontaneous or, or so much of a freestyle. Oh, dang, that's a hard move. He like did a backflip twist and landed on his foot so that he could come back up. Whoa! What the? When it goes around, the fuck? Whoa! I I don't understand that move. Dang. And you can see he's taking his time to the music versus Daniel was just executing a well polished set. That was an awesome clash of styles. I think Pac Pac won, but let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.